is basically it. This is our 11FK. And as you can see, we got a mattress to store up perfectly on this side. Um, it folds out three times and gives us an extra four and a half inches of foam on top of the regular foam that we have. I pulled out the dinette. I didn't really care for the dinette. Um, it wasn't something that, you know, like I needed. Um, we have a small folding table that we use to eat off of. Um, usually we eat outside anyway. We never really use the uh, kitchen in here, but on a rainy day it'll come in handy. <clears throat> I put, I got this right here. This is a stand that we put under this piece of plywood that we had cut um, that fits over these lips here. You pull the piece of plywood out. You put it on top of where the lip of the bench is, and you have yourself a nice bed there. Tons of room. I mean, there's this is a this is a very big. I'm six foot four and I had, I stretched out no problem. And I put this piece under this um, to help give it some support right in the front um, because I didn't want to warp or bend any of the uh, lips. Even though it's probably structurally sound, that's no problem. Um, I could probably live out of something like this. I have the, the heat running right now. No big deal. But that's one of the modifications I made. I've made a lot of modifications, especially on the uh, tongue, which I'll show you in a second. But this is another one. Let me hit the light. Currently, it is winterized right now. The camper's all winterized. So we had a little bit of water. If you can see down here, we had water that was trickling down here, we saw. So what I did was I got a... I mean, the gasket looked pretty decent all the way around. And what I did was I got a curtain. Now I'm going to cut this curtain just to go over from the door. And I'm going to suction cup it up to the wall on both sides. And then when I'm done with it, that's the shower curtain right there, I'll fold it in half and then from the bottom up. So it's kind of tucked away in the side there. Um, and I got a heavy duty suction cup, a couple of them actually. And uh, that's basically what that was. Now as you can see we've got, we did winterize it. We've got a little leakage, but that's not really an issue. I'm not really worried about that. It's all winterized, so that's good. These awesome things here are from Walmart. These suction cup onto the side. And I want to get a like a, one of those luggage nets and put the luggage net up here. Not above this, of course, because it'll start on fire. But that's my bathroom. And I mean, I'm the kind of person that I like having a full por por porcelain toilet. Um, I don't really see why people don't like wet baths, but I took a shower in here no problem, and I'm a pretty big guy. You just can't hop around like you can like a bull in a china shop, so that's that. And I, you know, I love it. You get people that are like, oh, why you get a, Why did you get a camper that's so small? It's like, I don't need something huge, and I want something that's ruggedized. I want something that's built really well. And camp lights are built, I mean, they're really nice. So... I, I like having this. This is something that didn't call, come on all camp light models because they usually put a full-size fridge in here. I like having this kind of storage. I mean, this is about 24 inches deep, which is really nice. Hang up clothes, put whatever you want in there. We usually put our dirty clothes over here because we don't use the, the gas stove or anything like that. And we put them in this basket here. So that's a ton of room right there. I also want to get another luggage uh, net some to hang up from this corner to this corner over here. You can see I'll get you uh, when it's when this couch is folded down. It's when this bed is folded down. It's like an L-shaped couch, which is really nice. You can set your laptop up here, do some work and stuff like that, no problem. But there's this gap goes over here. I want to get like a luggage net for that. And I've just had this this ceramic heater on for. Oh my gosh, probably five minutes now, and it's blazing in here. It's pretty warm. We did all the roof vents this last year, and anything that you get, make sure you get yourself a square bit, because all of these little things here, they're the Robinson uh, number two square bit. You, it will save your life, save you an evil headache. So make sure you get one of those. That's a big plus. I have all these these doors and stuff open because I want to pump a little bit of warm air into them. So that's why we've got different cupboard space. You can see a cupboard down here. We've got tons of room. I mean, our pantry is basically any pantry, any food stuff we put up here. 
and other stuff we just put bottom on below it we've got that and we've got this one below it as well and that's where we've got stuff toilet paper fire starter uh, other things we've got under here as well it's one of the reasons why I like this setup rather than a lot of the 11F case on this they're actually reversed for some reason on most of the 11F case these things right here are, are different now what you have is that you have a plumbing the plumbing for this all the way over here and it runs the length of your under the cabinets and I, I just you know I have a lot of stuff banging around down there you know like your coffee maker I don't know if you can see our ox box back there but it's a coffee maker and it, it just creates a lot of hassle another thing I did is put some LEDs above here which are great small fridge don't need a huge fridge we've got storage under this back one and this side one here um, I took out the TV didn't need the TV I didn't didn't see any use for it um, so yeah I use I have a basically a suction thing that suctions into here and that's where I put my cell phone there's a lot of things I really didn't need in here you know like this radio I don't see any real use in having a radio um, any music you just get yourself a Bluetooth speaker I love this camper this is the I've been looking at this exact style of camper for about eight years now looking to find one close to me um, and didn't find anything finally found one that was 400 miles away 400 miles one way that is and we took my Honda Ridgeline all the way down there and all the way back with this now I'll finish this uh, segment up by saying um, this is just basically the inside of our camper we haven't done any long camps in it I would like to see what it looks like you know for staying a month in it or so we're gonna try that this next summer and see how we go um, basically I'm, I'm watching all these awesome YouTube videos I watched this awesome uh, thing where these people were boondocking uh, and they live this nomadic lifestyle and stuff and they, they live from campers people from all walks of life and I thought it was great so I'm really excited and I want to try that this upcoming year but like I said we have everything in this I mean we have three forms of heating we have this which um, is the furnace which runs off of propane I've got dual propane tanks up front I've got the ceramic heater ceramic heaters plenty the propane heats our hot water I also have a heat strip in this um, and yeah I mean that's basically it we went through this entire thing recocked a lot of the roof it's all aluminum which is great so if you want to join me in just real quick I'll take you outside I'm going to turn this off and if you don't have one of these things I'll show you excuse me for a sec trying to get out of here without breaking my neck if you don't have one of these it'll save your stairs this right here is a support I picked up for 10 bucks and that helps a lot of the stress on your step right there you don't want something under there to snap off because then you got to do a lot of welding and yes ours is silver it isn't any pretty colors but it kind of matches my truck let me take you up to the front here I rewired this entire thing I not rewired but reconfigured the entire tongue I hated how it was set up before you didn't have any room these both were in a line and they were all tall and everything like that had the wrong size uh, propane cover on it so I put the right size propane cover on it I think they're for like 30 pound propane tanks they gave us a, a battery that was bad that was almost gonna start on fire so we put a new battery in, did a bunch of testing and that worked perfect um, and then we pretty much didn't have enough room for a hitch and we're like oh my gosh where are we gonna put the, the tongue jack not the hitch I'm sorry so I built that that's a custom setup by me and it fits over the arms of the uh, equalizer hitch when it's on there of course and I can take the bottom when it's when it's sitting on my trailer I could take this bottom part right out and this sucks up a little bit and it sits a little bit above the uh, actual tongue of the trailer as you can see there sucks right up in there no problem we got a deep cycle marine battery I think it was like 60 bucks it's a really nice battery um, dual propane tanks had to do some work on that got a new cover on it but that's our tongue setup and I think this is much nicer 
my camera would focus than the one that was stuck on the camper. I just absolutely hated it. And I did replace a lot of the, like the ceiling vents there are, RV res are UV resistant. And we did replace the, uh, um, what do you call it, the uh, um, exhaust um, covers on the top from like your gray tank and your black water tank. We replaced those with, those with a galvanized steel um, cover so they'll never rust because rust is a huge thing up here in New York. So a lot of the back, um, the taillights and stuff, I got new lenses for. And they were kind of hard to get find the actual lens covers or the lenses. Um, you get them from Camping World, basically. So it took me a while to find those. And I uh, hope you guys like the video. We'll share some more updates. And uh, it's currently under here for the winter time. So you can see my awning and stuff like that. It's currently under here for the winter. So thanks for watching.